Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today, the cat that is hyperthyroid. They have an overactive thyroid, and we want to go over the three most common things that any pet owner is going to do to help fix their kitty cat, or help them feel better, or live a happier, healthy life. Just like humans, guys, kitty cats have a thyroid gland that's kind of a bow tie, and it sits right under their skin on top of their trachea. This thyroid produces hormones, making a part of the endocrine system, that helps to establish the cat's metabolism. A cat with a hyperthyroid or elevated thyroid production from their thyroid gland is going to have increased metabolism. These kitty cats may have high blood pressure. They also may be overactive. They eat a ton of food and they just keep losing weight. They can also have various heart issues and other cardiovascular problems. This is kind of scary and these need to be treated. Cats that are over 10 are a little more predisposed to hyperthyroidism because they're a little bit older. Hyperthyroidism is actually quite easy to diagnose. When your veterinarian runs some blood work, they will do a T4. There's a couple different T4 tests you can do, but a T4 test will help diagnose a cat with hyperthyroidism. Based on the weight loss and her history and a blood sample, we can diagnose a hyperthyroid kitty within like 20 minutes, and then we can start treating it. Our goal with treatment is to correct all the symptoms. Some of the meds may not solve the problem completely, may not alleviate the, the overactive big thyroid, but it should control the symptoms and make the kitty cat happier and healthier. The most common thing people do after the cat's been diagnosed is start a thyroid tablet. I say thyroid tablet because it's a medication that's going to block the amount of thyroid production. So the amount of thyroid hormone pumping through the cat system is far less. This will correct all the symptoms the cat will put weight on. We'll recheck that thyroid in about a month. We'll make sure it looks good and based on that guys, we can be confident long term that the cat should be healthy. With that being said, we will have to do spot checks regularly, increase the dose, decrease the dose based on those spot checks. And if the owner ever stops the thyroid meds, it's going to come right back because we're not fixing that primary problem. The next option is a food option. Now remember guys, food can be a really powerful thing to alter or to change in a kitty cat. If we try Hills, for example, YD formula, this will affect how much iodine enters the system of the kitty, the cat's body, and this can help reduce the thyroid levels. Talk to your veterinarian about this option. They will probably write you a prescription for it, and in most cases, it's just a single therapy. So you either do the pill or you do the food. Last, but definitely not last, last, but definitely not least, yes, Last, but definitely not least, is going to be the I-131 therapy. This procedure is routinely done. It's not done all the time because it's more expensive, guys. It's usually a couple to a few thousand dollars. The really cool thing is, no joke, greater than 90%, you check 95% of cats get this treatment, it fixes the hyperthyroid problem. There's no meds long term. The problem is fixed and solved and you have a healthy kitty cat again. Price is definitely the biggest barrier for this treatment because it really is the best option. Always talk to your veterinarian about all three options, but definitely do one because a cat that has an elevated thyroid isn't gonna be super healthy. I hope you guys are happy and healthy. Thank you so much for watching and you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye.